Hello everybody, Drin608 plays here, playing Kenshi. Um, this is going to be titled Ambushing Dust Bandits. Uh, I have decided, pause that. Um, I went and I bought some mercenaries. I think it was 6,000 cats to have them here for six days. And I'm going to see if when these dust bandits come here, if we can't just stomp them. Um, they're supposed to show up in an hour. Or at least they start heading towards me in an hour, I guess. Um, just to kind of show you what I did. I did build another wheat farm here. Uh, I actually built it a little farther away than I should have. I probably should have built it right there. But uh, I'm trying to get more flour so that I can make more bread, so I can make more meat wraps and so on and so forth. Um, this one here is still the hemp farm. I'm considering building another hemp farm like right here, just so that I can make more cloth. And then over here somewhere in the trees, right there, um, I can actually upgrade my cactus for 10 extra cactus. So I'm going to do that this time around so that it's uh, an extra large. It'll take 10 cactus to do that and then I'll make more cactus which means I'll be able to make more rum. So I am expanding my farming a little bit while I'm waiting to get my stats up. Uh, the idea that I'm trying to go for here is I'm going to wait for the bandits to show up. We will help the mercenary group take on the bandits and hopefully we will prevail. Hopefully the mercenaries are good enough to do that. Um, stat wise um, I'm still not very good in melee. I'm working on my crossbow right now. I did, uh, when I was doing some of the grinding here, I went ahead and did the um, so why are we not what's going on here? Where's Bard? the two plants left. I have Bard making... Oh, I guess I should put the grain silo ahead of the wheat farm, shouldn't I? It's because they're going to be pulling in lots of wheat and we want to be able to be making wheat flour so that they can put the wheat in here. Uh, where's Ice? Ice is there too. It's Bard, Terran, Kelly. Okay. So we are trying to make ourselves some more flour so we can make bread. These guys still don't have the greatest farming stats. I mean, we're up to 48 and I still get an awful lot of fails. But Bard should be able to make maybe five or six of these. See how they just reload it? So he should be able to just grind away at making flour while these guys keep pulling things out of the... Alright, where are these dust bandits? What's going on here? 17 minutes! Okay. These guys should be pretty much done with the wheat farms by the time the bandits get here. I don't know how much the grain silo holds. I think it's probably going to limit itself to five, and then I'll have to do an inventory and stack those up in Bard's backpack. Um, so we are trying to get some things going, just as far as trying to get my economy going a little bit. Um, I might try and do a second hemp farm for the same. Moving towards my outpost. That's nice. Where are they? I don't see them. Are they out here on the map? Is there any little dots? There's the little dot. Here come the bandits. Okay. So we're going to see if this works. <laughs> Hopefully it will. By the way, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. Really 
really like what you see, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notify bell, be notified to upload videos and schedule streams. Uh, subscriptions, like buttons, comments, all those things really help my YouTube channel. So please, if you can, do at least one of the three. Um, keeps me wanting to, keeps me going and making these kinds of things as long as I, um, you know, know that there's people out here. Let's see if this stops at five. Yeah, it stops at five. All right, Bard, go back there to inventory. And load those up in your backpack. And now everybody should have just loaded this thing back up. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get like nine wheat flowers out of this. So it's done. I, am I done? Oh, I should probably have like Terran. Pick up those two. Because then you should take them over to Bard. And then Bard should just keep on cranking out here. Well, maybe I won't get to nine. Maybe I'll get to seven. Maybe I'll get to seven or eight. I'm just trying to see how many I can make with one go here. And these guys will probably have to run back up and get some uh, some food. Because <clears throat> they're going to get hungry. Oh. Where are these bandits? They're taking forever. I want to see if this battle will work. So we'll have seven total, it looks like. Because I don't have enough to make an eighth one. It's interesting. You know, I still am kind of confused on why their farming is so bad. But, oh, but is there more there? Oh, there's more there. Uh, Khalid, go over here. Do an inventory. Don't make Bard run and do it. We can have Ice go do that too. All right, while we're waiting for the bandits, yep, I'll pick up the last four. Go give them to Bard in the thing here. How many will we make? We're up to three. I don't know if we'll make it to four. I don't know if anybody's going to dump any more in there. She doesn't have any. He doesn't have any. Kelly doesn't have any. Bard. It's just trying to. There they are. Get out here, you sniveling bastards. Nope, we're not going to do it. We're just going to let you get angry at us and charge us and see if we can actually fight them off. Oh, it jumps. It's time to pay the price. Is that a herd of Garu? Nobody move. No chance to come out of your eye. You ought to you don't want your friends to die, do you? Come on, Garu, attack them. They must have food. Oh, you're no fun. That would be hilarious if the Garu decided to turn on the bandits. Ah. Uh. Don't want your friends to die. Just come out and give all your money. No. Not going to happen. I'm going to, I'm going to spend my 6,000 cats to keep the mercenaries out here. This is your last chance. Yes, we know. Come on. Get to the fight. Let's see how we do on a fight. Should probably turn this. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we have all of our guys move in there. I believe I am shooting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Farming crew, what are you doing? Stay back here. I guess I can't get you to stay back here. You're all going to go fight, which means you're all going to get beat up because you're terrible at this. 
mercenaries should be taking care of things. But slowly but surely, I'm hoping that I'm getting up, you know, their stats a little bit, not much. Bard's getting beat up. Terran's getting beat up. Terran, why don't you withdraw? So we don't want you to get too beat up. Bard, you should withdraw too. Terran, withdraw. Khalid, you're fine. So, it looks like it's working. I'm getting some stats up on my other guys too. Kane took a lot of damage. But we're getting up our ability to use things. I have Kane using a heavy weapon now, so I'm hoping that that's going to go up a little bit. Not going up very fast. So I think he's down to one bandit. They're all just taking their turns. Um, I have noticed that it always seems that you only get one guy that can attack the enemy at a time. Very uh, chivalry type fight. Which, the bandits, you shouldn't be chivalrous to bandits. Okay. So everybody will do their, their bandaging here. And then I am going to come up here. Now the mercenaries get first rights on looting everything. Then I can come back. I noticed. So they won't take everything. I don't know what they're taking from them, but they aren't taking very much. Uh, boy, I don't have very... Okay, so he's not a challenge. He might actually be still... He's unconscious. I don't want him to be unconscious. I want him to be conscious again. Because I found, if you look at my stats, I found this when I was looting somebody else. My thievery is up to 32 because I would try to loot somebody who is, like, still conscious. That one's dying, so he's not going to be a challenge. Playing dead. So this is what you do. is You go and you loot the guy playing dead. And then he stands up, unfortunately. So everybody has to come and beat on him again. Rutka's using a plank and whatnot. He's unconscious for a very long time. And he's in a recovery coma, so that won't help. So anyway, that one guy that caught me, it raised my thievery up a point. So that's kind of a sneaky way of, of getting things. They're both dying now. Okay. So. Oh, this one's playing dead. So I can go try to loot him. And it should raise up my thievery if it catches me. And then he stands up. And every. Oh, did he not stand up? Oh. I must have knocked him right back now. Yes. Okay. So we'll just let them get to being playing dead again. And we try and do this again. Hopefully he'll catch me. He's unconscious. I need to let him get to be un not unconscious. And then we do it again. Oh, let's try and get his helmet this time. He stands up, and then everybody will beat on him again. 
But what that did is for my stats. See, I got my thievery up to like 37 because I'm picking on those particular ones. Okay, now they're unconscious for a very long time. I think. Find the bodies. There's not a body out there anymore. Uh, we'll just go loot some of these guys. Um. Have human loot this one. I have lots and lots of toothpicks now. I need to probably make a locker so I can store them all. Uh, who do we have left out here? So that's one thing. I don't know if there's a. I hope there's a mod somewhere that you can. Like, hit a button and it will show you all the people that are still lootable. So I've done that one. I've done this one. There's two there and one there. There should be some more down here somewhere. Don't you guys move all over here. Yes, there's another guy here. There's no more to loot. They're all completely looted by the, the other guys. Alright, uh, let's have... Who? Who do I want to have loot? Have Rain the Giant come and check on this one. So the ambush kind of thing works. I can take some of their stuff. Um, don't think I've got anybody else left. Up. Oh, there's some more back here. Oh, there's many back here. Let's get... Uh, Everybody to kind of move to here. Went rain the giant human griffin. Just take all that stuff. Rutka can go here. To sell all this stuff off. Uh, Richard can't care anymore. Kang. Oh, there's somebody over here. This guy. Okay. Kang will go there. Dren will try to. Uh. I don't know, does this work if I go sneak? What does this say? <coughs> You're entering stealth mode. In this mode you can perform stealth knockouts, kidnap, and steal stuff. Okay. Stealth because it displays two icons, an eyeball and a sun. When the eyeball is red, it means that you are in view of nearby NPCs. The eyeball is blue, it means that you are currently out of anyone's line of sight. The sun icon shows the light level. When the sun is shaded, you are, you are, at, you are at your least visible. Nightfall is prime time for sneaking. To perform a stealth knockout, right-click on the NPC while sneaking. The preceding shows the chance of success. The higher your assassination skill, the higher the chance. To kidnap a KO, and hold right-click on them and select kidnap from the common menu. Okay. I don't want to do all that. I just wanted to see if I could sneak around this guy. My stealth is going up. Yeah, my stealth's going up a lot. Okay, so I could do this for like everybody. Uh, if I grab everybody and hit sneak, is that everybody sneaking? Yes. We're just going to walk around here. 
farming people should do it too. We're just going to walk around this crawling dude. Very grindy, very ugly. We're sneaking in front of a crawling dude. My stats going up. My stealth's not going up very well. How's mine? My stealth's up to a four. So we're getting up our stealth a little bit. That's a sneaky way to get stealth up. Just walk in front of a crawling guy. What's my stealth at? My stealth's up to seven. Right, I want to try... I can try to do a knockout. It's a 0% chance of knocking him out. So I need to get behind him, I guess. To where I'm in the blue. 40% chance to knock him. Stealth KO at 40 some percent. Let's see if I can do it. So we've KO'd him. Okay. So now what's his... He's unconscious for a while. He's bleeding out, actually. We can't stealth anymore. Let's turn off sneak. Oh, I don't want that. I want everybody. Turn off sneak. There we go. I want to move back up here. Yeah, I put some uh, camp beds in my in my little house for people to sleep if they get hurt like that. To give them something that they can do. Um, oh, he's just dying. Well, let's just go. I'll go see what I can grab off of him. I suppose I could go first aid him and then keep doing that, but that's... Oh, I really don't want to put that there. Put that there, that there, those there, helmet there, and the sword over here. Okay. Alright, well, there's a little bit of nonsense, so you guys get to see some of that. It's my time. I'm at 23 minutes. Uh, basically, we're going to... I have three camp beds in the house, so I've got some people sleeping. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to have everybody come out of the house. I wanted to have them go ahead and do their sleep while I go check on the farmers. Okay, we're going to move to here. Anyone want to go sleep? Go ahead. I guess nobody really needs to sleep anymore. So they got a little bit of sleeping in. I mean, the giant should probably go rest while I check on this stuff. Oh, he is. Okay. Yeah, why don't you sleep? Let's get my farmers. How bad are they? Oh, I've got farmers trying to rest. Khalid and Ice are okay. Alright, uh, I think I need to do some water here. So it does look like I can probably get like another... Oh, I did make a second one. Okay. So I have a second hemp farm. So I have two hemp farms. Three, six, probably seven. Eight, nine, ten. 
11, 12, 13. So let's get Ice and Khalid to go grab some water. Have them grab nine each and see if they need more than that. I'll have Ice grab this one. And have her go off watering things and then we'll have Khalid. Grab this one. Let's see if we can go off and water things. And they should go and put water in the various farms. I think the cactus farm needs water too. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it needs one as well. So ice is probably going to go up there. I don't know how they prioritize who gets what water. <laughs> seem to do something like that. So inventory wise, she's used up all hers. Khalid's gonna drop one up there. What's this? They're at ten. This one's at ten. This one's at ten. One's at seven. So Khalid will drop one there. And then he'll drop like three here and then he'll have four too many. Oh well. Oh there's four things there. I need to get Bard. How bad off are you Bard? Uh, I think you can come out here and grab this. Let's go do that inventory. Ten. I think you're fine too. You, a little bit of stomach damage, but you can go farming. And I need Bard. There to pick up. So we have nine of those now. That'll be nine loaves of bread. Then they'll go do the hemp farm, or the not the hemp farm, but hemp farms at 82, 88. Cactus farm now. It's going to be out here, and when we get to there, I'm going to click on the upgrade button. I think. I have ice grab stuff, and then I'm going to have her do an upgrade while she's still standing here. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm doing here. Uh, I thought about trying to figure out a way to put an iron processor out here. What's this? Who are these hungry bandits? No, farmers. Do not engage the hungry bandits. Run away. Dren 608 team. Get up and get over here. Mercenaries will help and we will help as well. Is Fuman blocking? I probably should have Fuman attacking. That? Oh, that's an ally. It's a mercenary. It's a mercenary. That's a bad guy. We must attack him. So everybody's getting a little bit of training in here. Help of the mercenaries, we're guaranteed of winning, and everybody gets a little bit of hits here. What's that? I don't know where he's running to. Is he going to go run and sleep? Maybe? He's running off somewhere. Yeah, everybody should get over there and do things. You guys need to come over here and see if you can shoot some crossbows at him. And the mercenaries do their looting, which is not very helpful. Have Dren. So, eight, come back over here. Oh, I have to zoom in because I can't see where they're at. Let's see. He's playing dead. So let's go loot. I'll go try and loot him so that we can get caught and get my thieving up. Uh, there's nothing I can really take. I'm trying to take that. And I succeeded. 23% uh, chance and I have nowhere to take it. Uh, can come out here.
What's Kelly doing? I don't know what they're doing. Okay, I need to stop and check on my cactus farm. Yes, I need ice to do an inventory here. She's going to take 20. And we'll all get back to work. Um, he's still playing dead. He's still playing dead. So, if we loot him... Oh, no, I don't want Ice to do that. I want me to do that. I'm trying to get one of us up with really good thieving. So if I go in here to loot, and I give this back to him... And I give this back to him. And I give these to him. Uh, what happens if I try to loot here? 23%. I'm succeeding. I don't want to succeed. I want to fail. My thievery is up to 37. I want to fail. I don't want to succeed. Thirty-one percent 23%, 23%, 41%. Okay, so we want to do the 23s. Yeah, I got caught. Did that help my stats? Not really. So boot him again. I'm not helping my thieving very much. Seventy-three percent. It's not going up. Usually, when you get caught, it goes up. There we go. To thirty-eight. Okay. Well, let's just keep doing this. They didn't keep catching me. Up to thirty-nine. Beaver is getting up there. I think it's going up a lot slower now because I have better chances. Yeah, I'm up to 24%. Oh, and I succeeded. I don't want to succeed. Yeah, so I want to get caught. So now my thievery's up to 40. Hey, I'm getting my thievery up. Okay. Well, I'm going to do this nonsense and play around with the farms. Um, so I'm going to do that offline. We're at 32 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. So that's how I'm going to deal with the dust bandits out here at my base. I'm going to spend... Basically a thousand cats a day to keep the mercenaries out here on a regular basis. Help them out when they're fighting the dust bandits so my guys get a little bit of training in. Uh, right now I've got... He's going to be sleeping. Everybody else is pretty much okay. Uh, what's my farming crew look like? Yeah, Ice is sleeping, Terran is sleeping, Bard and Khalid are okay. What's, what's the inventory here? Yeah, I have to send Khalid back out here. Actually, I don't need to use him to do that, do I? Yes, I do. He needs to come out here and do the inventory. So we're going to go ahead and show you the... Uh, First off, he's got to drop. Oh, he's going to take these. Okay. Now, is there anything left there? No. So we want Khalid to do an upgrade on it. So did it did just happen? Where's the 10? He should have lost 10. Build. Because you have to add materials. And Bard will come over here to help. As will Ice. So we're going to try to make it an extra large one so we get more cactus out of it next time. We're getting like 40 out of it now. I don't know what extra large will do. Maybe I'll get 
60, 50 or 60. That will let us make more rum, which sells for quite a bit of money. Khalid and Bard are running away. I don't know why. Oh, maybe they have, uh, is the hemp farm? Yeah, we need to, we have bodies to loot, but we can't do anything. Okay. Oh, we get more cactus out of it? Immediately? Two, okay. Well, I go pick those two up. I guess we had more there than we needed. And then you go work on the hemp farm, I guess. All right. Then we got to do something about the hemp farms here. So I think they're working on the hemp farms now. Okay. We've got... No, I don't want you to do that. Go back over there. Uh, I want my team. All right, I'm going to loot and clean up the battlefield here a bit. I'll probably take weapons and throw their armor in the, to the side. Um, may even try to run my main Dren team up north, sell off our stuff, and come running back here to loot the rest. And hopefully the farmers will be okay, and I'll pick up some food while I'm up in the main hub. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grind like this for a few days, trying to get more dust bandits. Uh, you think they would? You think they would give up, knowing that I have mercenaries here and that we're just going to beat their butts? But who knows? Maybe they'll start coming in more and more, higher and higher numbers. But the idea here is. Um, slowly but surely, like I got my crossbow shooting up one, Logan's went up a little bit, Kang's using sabers, that went up a little few percentage points, uh, Rutka's using a plank, so that's heavy weapons, hers went up a little bit, Griffin's also using heavy weapons, he's, oh no, he's using sabers, so he's gone up a level, Rain the Giant's using a heavy weapon, he should go up in the next battle, get up to a 23. Um, I did find this, uh, Falling Sun, which looks like it's really good. I mean, it's only got a 56 cutting damage and 20%, you know, 0.2 blunt, but, uh, against animals like beak things and goril gorillos, it's, uh, much better. And if I need to go, um, Doesn't have very much armor penetration. This one has no minuses to armor penetration, so he should be doing some more damage. We definitely need to go dump a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm toying with the idea of having everybody, or a fire number of us, all have crossbows and just have us all shoot the bandits on the first round and then switch to our melee weapons. Kind of like all of D and D, where you fire your fire your bow, and then as they're charging you, you switch to melee weapons so that you can receive their charge, kind of thing. Uh, I don't know. I might play with that offline and see how that works. Like I'm getting a lot of crappy crossbows here, so I can actually do that, like for my farmers and stuff, which might be the thing to do because the farming guys. Oh, she's Ice is using a saber. Why is she using a saber? Oh, I want stats. I mean, she's up to a seven in sabers, but I didn't take her as a saber person. I took her more as a, a katana or a blunt. Uh, boy. I could put up a mounted crossbow out here and have everybody get their crossbows up, take turns shooting the bandits with the crossbows. That's just insane. The things you have to do to grind up uh, statistics. It's just... It seems wasteful. It's a lot of time that I just don't... I don't enjoy the grinding part. You know, I enjoy like things like this where we re we ambush the, the bad guys. There's a couple of people out here I should probably loot. Um, Inventory-wise, Khalid's got to get rid of that water somehow. You'll be dropping one there. 
But none of them need water now. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe the big one? Does the big one need more water? Nope. Oh, he's going to have a couple waters to drop before he leaves, I guess. But, yeah, <clears throat> just grinding things up. So I managed to get my... Just found that by accident here. Um, just got my thieving up to 40 just by doing that. We got our stealth up to a few points just by running in front of a guy that's trying to crawl away. So, I mean, those are silly mechanics. You shouldn't, it shouldn't work that way. I do have a light by each of the farms. Right. What I don't have is a light here by this thing. So if I'm doing it in the dark, that won't work very well. <sighs> but my power consumption right now is 37 out of 50. So I might have to put up another windmill thingy here somewhere. If I'm going to, because I was looking over here. I know I said I was going to leave, but I just wanted to show you this. This is a copper resource, and then up here on the hill, there's a small iron resource. And I thought about, you know, dropping a iron refinery like right here somewhere. But I don't know what the path would be to going and having to go up to to mine this. If I have to run up the road to mine it and run back with the ore, that could be very tedious. Um, but that way I could make a bunch of iron plates instead of me trying to buy them all the time. So, uh, six of one, half dozen of the other. Uh, ultimately, this that's one thing that um, I really don't like is that I can't build... You know, I mean, my stated goal is to restore the hub, and you would think that I would be able to build an ore refinery up there because they have iron ore deposits and stuff, but it doesn't let me. I even tried to, you know, build it. I built out a building with a nice big flat top that I was like, oh, I'll just put the iron ore processor up here, right? Because it'll be outdoors. It'll be exterior. It's on the top of the roof. Uh-uh. doesn't work like that. Let me build the weaponsmith inside, but it won't let me build the iron ore thing either on top or anywhere near the hub, which I find kind of disconcerting. I might try and play around and see if I can get it within reasonable distance of the iron ore thing that's not far from the hub. If it's just a matter of a short run to, you know, shorter run than this. So I'll be playing around with that, trying to figure out what it does. Problem is it takes 22 iron plates to begin with to make an iron... Uh, iron ore refinery and it seems like when you dismantle things you only get like half of your resources back so anyway that was day 129 the ambush of the bandits and a little bit of showing you what I'm doing as far as trying to grind out things so you know how I'm going to get those stats up okay and yeah next time <clears throat> it'll be a few more days out we'll probably have another bandit ambush here that will you know deal with and then uh, we'll see where our stats are um, I, my stats are still woefully inadequate to go out into the world and the only thing I can think of is to grind you know beating on hungry bandits and and the dust bandits with the mercenary help to make sure that we survive it because even in that battle we took lots of hits and people had to um, are recuperating now and I don't think their stats really went up all that much. So it's really kind of hard to get your stats up. And I'm kind of not liking that part. Because it means I can't just do things and hold my own in a fight against bandits. I mean, I'm at day 129, going to be day 130 here in a minute. Uh, and I can't hold my own against dust bandits. Such so as, you know... You would think by this point in time I would have good enough stats to at least be able to stand and fight with them, and I'm not able to do that, which is very, very, um, it's very annoying, I guess is the best thing I can say. Because it's just, you know, why? Why can't I be at least at their level or whatever and be able to fight against them? But it's not working that way. Because... Dust Bandit. You know, they're at hundreds. 
Their attacks are five, nine, three, and stuff. I mean, you know, they're not that great for hungry bandits, but uh, dust bandits. Oh come on, there's a dust bandit out here somewhere still, isn't there? Can't I not see him? There's one. Yeah, he's dead, so it's not going to show me, but, you know, it's just, uh, I don't know. It just seems odd that you can't get your stats up um, soon enough. I mean, I'm going to end up spending, it's going to be day 200 or 250 before I'm going to be able to actually go out and deal with bandits, which is just silly to spend 200 game days just trying to get your stats up to where you're they're equal or slightly superior to bandits. You would think that, uh, you know, these people live in this area, they would have better starting stats. Now, you know, admittedly, Rain the Giant, Griffin, and uh, Kang all came with, they started off with like 20s in their combat stats or whatever. But their toughness was only like 5 or something. It was next to nothing. So I've been working on getting their toughnesses up too. So, uh you know, they're just, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, he's a toughness 12. He's a former paladin. you think they would have higher toughness doing that. Anyway, I'm going to grind for a while. Um, don't know when I'll be back with another video, because I do have uh, other things. I am streaming um, a Pathfinder run through on Saturday mornings. I'm pat I'm streaming uh, Xenonauts 2 early release on Sunday mornings, and I'll probably be doing a second one of those, uh, trying a different... I'm going to be doing like three of those streams, doing different uh, strategy lines to give people... Uh, I'm only using the what I consider to be an everyman type of view, where it's like the standard difficulty. I'm not doing like super hard or anything like that, because... I've played the game a lot, and I could probably do that, but I'm trying to do it from a standard, from an average person's point of view, kind of the same way I'm doing here. It's like somebody who wants to try out Kenji and just see what it's like and starts, you know, goes ahead and buys it, like, on sale and tries playing it, you know. Yeah, you can go check out all the, all the mods that'll make your life easier and, you know, guides to show you all the exploits in the game, but finding out what they are, like here, just like, look, I get caught thieving, my thieving goes up. So, hey, I'm going to, every time I have a guy playing dead or whatever, I'm going to try and loot him to get my thieving up. You know, and I'll become the premier thief of the party, I guess. And then sneaking, you know, somebody's crawling away and you can just run back and forth sneaking and get sneak damp, sneak pluses. I mean, that's just, that's silly grinding as far as I'm concerned. It shouldn't be that way. <laughs> there should be a way to get your stuff up to at least in the 20s, before you, you know, start actually adventuring in the world. But, I don't know, maybe he'll do that with Kenshi too. He'll give us a, a better way of being able to get our stats up. Um, as far as I know, he still is developing Kenshi too, and it's gonna, supposed to be a little better... Uh, a little better game engine, so that you'll be able to uh, do a little bit more and save a little bit more of what's going on. I probably should rename my outpost. What should I name my outpost? We should rename the outpost. Uh, let's rename the outpost. Instead of your outpost, let's call this uh, Dren. Oops, Dren. Six oh eight. Uh, farm. Stead. Because that's essentially what I'm doing out here. Or should I just call it resources? I will call it the farmstead because I'm farming at the moment. If I decide to go ahead and put an iron ore thing out here to process the iron ore up there, then I'll call it, uh, you know, Dren 608 Resources or something. And then that's what it'll be. And I probably will keep, as long as these guys are only going to be a thousand cats a day, I can make a thousand cats a day without batting an eye and still have plenty left over. You can see I'm already up to 73,000 even with all the money I've been spending to doing stuff. So um, I can get myself up to 100000 without too much trouble in like three days. 
And so I figured I just would have a steady income from combination of copper mines, armor and weapons and all that kind of stuff going on up in the hub. I can have a constant source of income as long as I can find a constant source of iron plates for the weapons. And then the copper resource and stuff, I can do that. So we're, I will play around and see what I can do as far as setting up a secondary resource thing to like get me iron plates. That's my big thing right now because everything takes iron plates to build. Lights take iron plates. Buildings take iron plates. Uh, machinery takes iron plates and stuff like that. So we'll see what I can do. And that's enough of me babbling. Um, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you like to subscribe, hit the notify bell. We notify upload videos or schedule streams. Uh, subscribing obviously helps me. Likes help the algorithm. Comments help the algorithm. I do respond to comments. Uh, I haven't been overwhelmed with comments on all my videos so far, so I've been able to keep up with them. It might take me a day or so to, to realize that you actually made a comment. Uh, but I do try to respond to everything. And uh, yeah, I'm Dren608. Until we meet again, stay safe and bye-bye.